Welcome to Sauce Labs, where we test at the speed of awesome. In this video, we'll introduce you to Sauce Performance, the newest addition to the Sauce Labs portfolio of testing tools. Sauce Performance is a single solution that performs in tandem testing of front end functionality and front end performance. Sauce Performance lets you integrate front end performance testing into the CI CD pipeline so you can identify performance issues earlier, deploy faster, and ensure a better end user experience. For this demo, we created a simple application with some front-end views built on a platform that lets us quickly see the impact our changes have on performance. To test our application, we've created a functional test that visits the site and measures page load performance. Sauce performance commands allow you to embed performance checks into your functional tests and output the information in JSON format. And we're using the commands here to capture all the page load performance metrics. We've also added the extended debugging attribute to the test, which connects to the Chrome DevTools protocol and helps us capture the performance information. Our test is finished running, so we'll switch back to the Sauce Labs dashboard, which shows that all of our tests completed successfully. We can drill down into one of the tests, then click the Performance tab to see performance-related data. The Network and Performance tabs are added to the Test Details page when you enable the Sauce Performance feature in your account. At the top of the performance page, we can see data for page loads, requests, page weight, and speed index. Below these metrics is the loading strip, followed by a summary of UX-specific metrics like time to first byte, first paint, and first contentful paint. And along with the performance history, we've also established upper and lower baselines for all the metrics we've collected. These baselines will help us identify any performance degradation as we continue to load test the application. To help that process along, We'll go into our application and make a change to cause a slower page load time, then run the tests again. As expected, all the tests failed this time, and we can drill down into one of the failed tests to pinpoint the exact cause of the failure. Right away, we can see that the page load time has increased significantly. We can scroll down further to see charts on the page load process, and we can immediately see that the evaluate script process accounts for 90% of the page load time, which points to an obvious application-specific problem. We can perform additional debugging by clicking the View in Chrome DevTools button, where we can see a display of the tracing log data in the Chrome DevTools viewer. The tracing log includes details about the page load event and how busy the main thread was at any point in the loading process. Looking at the main thread, we can see that the page loading process didn't begin until this long blocking event finished loading and processing, which once again points to the application as being the root cause of the test failures. To start identifying performance issues earlier and deploying your applications faster, add Sauce Performance to your account today. And if you don't already have a Sauce Labs account, sign up for a free trial and begin testing at the speed of awesome.